Hello, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace devotion. My name is Pastor Katie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Lilburn, Georgia. Over the past couple of weeks, I have been thinking about gifts, not presents, but gifts. In particular, I've been thinking about the kinds of gifts that each one of us have been given by God. Not the kinds of gifts that we buy in a store, rather the kinds of gifts we've each been given as children of God. A week ago Sunday, I first started thinking about this when we had our community Thanksgiving service. Each year, three to four churches in our community combine with their choirs and their ministers and congregations to hold a communal service of Thanksgiving worship. This service is a favorite of mine in part because I have served in one way or another at three of the churches that participate in this service. It is a gift to gather together and worship with people from all of these different con congregations that in one way or another have been blessed to serve. This time though, something particularly special happened. This was the first year since 2020 that we combined the choirs once again. It's a long standing tradition for the choirs of the churches who participate in the service to combine together, to gather together before the service a couple of hours before and to practice their singing together. And then during worship, the choirs lead us in song together. It is a beautiful thing. And after they practice, as they're preparing for worship, one of the things that the choirs do is they, um, they have a potluck. They have a potluck soup dinner. I never attended that before. I didn't mean to attend it this time, but I just happened to be early for the service. So I walked into the fellowship hall at Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church and I happened upon the choir potluck. And when I walked in to that fellowship hall and I saw all of these people, most of whom I knew, I felt such joy. I saw so much more than a bunch of people eating soup. I saw what appeared to me to be a buffet of people with spiritual gifts, a banquet, a banquet of people with all kinds of spiritual gifts that I was blessed and am blessed to know. I saw sisters and brothers in Christ who didn't really know each other, yet they had been brought together for this communal Thanksgiving service. And I was nearly just blown away as I looked around and thought about all the spiritual gifts that were present in that room. Each and every person I knew that I looked at I thought about just some of the gifts that I am aware that they bring. At one table, we had a dear friend of mine, a woman who has been given a gift for singing that can touch your soul. I saw a man with incredible carpentry skills, a woman with a sweet spirit and a gift for encouraging others. At the very same table, I saw a woman whose gift of attention to detail has helped her to become an incredible cook and a craftsman. And that was only at one table. As I looked around, I was amazed at all of the gifts that I saw in this room. I saw a man with a gift for supporting others another one who has a gift for bringing a sense of calm. I saw a man with a mind for chemistry who helps people to have the medicine that they need through his job. 
I saw a woman who serves others with kindness and compassion. I saw a man who has an incredible gift for helping people to make harmony, both in life and in song. And I found myself wondering if each of them know I found myself wondering if each of them know of the gifts that they have and the ways they've blessed my life and the lives of so many others. And I found myself wondering about how many gifts were present in that room that I had no idea about. There they were though, gathered around tables, all of these vessels, all of these vessels, all of these people who've been given gifts from God. As I sat there and I looked around, I was reminded of the light of the Lord that shines within us, whether or not we are aware of it. And I smiled. In that moment, I was reminded of the goodness of God. And it wasn't long after that that each of these people, each of these children of God joined their voices together in songs of worship. And there, in those moments with hearts and voices joined together, we had a visual reminder of the body of Christ. Each person showed up there that night with their unique gifts and a willingness to share from what they'd been given. And as I sat there, I was reminded of the words that I spoke at a baptism of a little boy named Henry that very morning. As I sat there and was blessed by the gifts of others, I thought about the words that I'd spoken that morning. That morning in the baptism, after the prayers were prayed with help from the Holy Spirit, after the water was poured and the little head was dried, that morning as I held that little baby in my arms, I lit a candle and I handed it to his dad as I said the words from Matthew 5, 16 to Henry. I said, Henry, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. As I sat there amongst these people with these gifts, I remembered those words that I said to that beautiful boy that morning. As I looked into his face and I said those words from scripture, I found myself wondering where Henry's journey in Christ would take him. I found myself wondering how the light of the Lord would shine within him as he journeys in life. Perhaps Henry someday will be a part of the choir. Perhaps Henry someday will encourage others. Perhaps Henry someday will build with his hands. Perhaps Henry someday will serve others in one way or another. I don't know. But what I do know is that each of the people that I saw in the choir dinner potluck that night, each of them at one point were held in someone else's arms. And so were each of us. Since that time we've journeyed, we have been given gifts from God. Each one of us has been given gifts and the invitation to let those good works, those gifts shine before others so that people may see the goodness of our God. Oftentimes we may wonder what our gifts are because they may be the things that come naturally to us that don't seem like gifts at all somehow. If you're watching this and you're not aware of any particular gifts that you have from God, I would love to talk to you about it as you discern. I would love to affirm the gifts that I have been blessed by in your life. 
You may also want to talk to a friend or a family member. Sometimes others are able to see the gifts that we have so much more clearly than we can see them ourselves. It is most certainly true that each of us have gifts from God. I am so thankful for that night a week and a half ago where I was reminded of all of the people that I have been blessed through the gifts that God has given them. I have been blessed by so many folks in so many ways and I am thankful. Through God's grace, may each of us let our light so shine so that others may see the good works that God does through us and glorify our Father in heaven. May God's peace be with you today and always. Thanks be to God. Amen.